Yeah, I did some talking. I haven't really done any of this kind of talking for a while. See, that's my static guy. So this guitar I bought in 1995. So it's like, it was like 26 years ago. Yeah, 26 years. Yeah, I actually helped paint a church in the middle of the summer of 95. And it was like one of the hottest summers ever. It was like it was like one of the warm. It was like a hundred plus temperature like for like days. People were like dying and stuff from 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 the heat. You know, up, up on this church, you know, painting and doing the putting the the windows. You, know, you can uh, put the putting and you take a little like a little little thing, trolley go. And it's kind of like, you know, that was fun. That was fun fun to do. You put a lot <laughs> and you paint a lot. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah, my hair. This color, isn't it a cool color? Most people will dye, the, will dye their hair that color, but this, this is all. Like, yeah, look at this. Um, cools my nature. <laughs> cools my nature. I, I love that more men are like actually growing out their gray instead of, you know, hiding it. It's like all of a sudden they're gray. You know, they got all of a sudden. It's like, no, they were always gray. They just dyed it brown or whatever for like years. <laughs> Because people are vain, they don't want people to think that they're old just by having gray. That's what it is. It's like, oh, they won't get parts, especially like actors when they die there because they think, well, I got, I'm gray now, so I can't get the parts of young of young men. <laughs> I'll get the, the grandpa <laughs> roles or something, something like that. You know, I don't know. Which is fair enough. I mean, I get it. you want to, you still want, you want to be like 70, 80, 90. And still play the roles of twenty-year-olds. Like, I don't want to. I, you know, I, hey, more power to you. you know, nothing wrong with that. Like, you know, if you want to do that, you like, you want to lie about your age and just kind of uh, not embrace your age and go, okay, that's you know, you want to lie to yourself. <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh, oh. gray doesn't look bad. <laughs> I see a lot of gray women. They look really good. Yeah, I've seen ladies who like went great early and they look kinda kinda good. <laughs> they look kinda hot. <laughs> you know, they were. You know, their face still looked young so it was like kinda and then they kinda had a style nicely, you know? it was like, yeah, you look kinda you look kinda good. Yeah. See we do like that, yeah. But when most women when they get older they cut their hair shorter than us. It's like, yeah, do you ever see any? Older women, they, get, they have long hair. No, they're too short and dyed. They used to die. <laughs> it's like, you never see like, one long gray hair. No, they... It's bad, the baby. <laughs> I get it. It was vain. It was look good for their husband and their boyfriend. And it's like, and I, like yeah, I want people to love me. My husband and my boyfriend will love me if I'm gray. <laughs> fairly, fairly gray. It's not attractive. <laughs> All right, I don't know, isn't it? Oh, I look good in grey. Nah, I think I look good. Uh -huh. I think that's what more people do in grey. Because of me, they go, hey, he looks good and he's grey and he's doing it. I'm going to do it too. <laughs> I want to I wanna grow my grey. I ain't going to lie. Yeah, see? Because that's my whole spiel is in, my, in my song. Is be true to yourself. And then so I'll be true. And if I start drying my hair, it's like I'm like hiding who I, who I am. You know? <laughs> and it kind of goes against my songs. <laughs> goes against my whole philosophy. <laughs> you know? You know, be who you are. Don't be afraid. Don't like have the other people. Don't take other people's approvals. Like, oh, they won't approve me unless I look young and dark hair or whatever. You know, like, uh, it's like I don't need that. It's like be who you want to be. Just just be a good person, though. Be you know, be good, be kind. I think most people want to be good and kind. I think a lot of people just kind of get tired of the of the suckiness that are around them and they get kind of angry, but. I think most people want to be good and they want to be kind and say it's, it's better. You feel better when you do good things, and I think most people want to do good things. They want to you know, be that good person, you know. But I want to be happy and smile and you know, you know, laugh. But you know, sometimes it's you know, yeah. Just because society is the way it is, it's superficial. It judges you. People judge you. People judge you. Even without you know, you can just see it in their body language. People don't think they can't read what I'm thinking. Yeah, but what, what we're thinking, a lot of times it comes out in what we're doing. Our eyes will tell or whatever, you know. 
you know, it'll come out of my language, and so we kind of have negative body language. We kind of give off negative vibes, and people respond to that, and then they judge you, and they say people look bad at me because I can just see how they look the way they are. They're not exactly what you say; it's just the way you are. <laughs> you know, because you don't because you don't like realize that you're putting out negative vibes. People read that. That's how people because you're not gonna say anything, so people are gonna judge you on the way you gotta act or the way the language you portray with the bot. <laughs> and so you go, well, right, they hate us. because the society seems like like they hate everybody. You don't talk to anybody. Kind of people just gotta look at all mean. And... But people don't realize these things. People because no one's thinking. People aren't thinking. Just people don't do a lot of things. They just kind of accept everything the way it is. I don't think maybe if we did this different, it could be better. You don't think of ways to, to improve society and make it better. All they do is think about just keeping the status quo. Things go round and round, celebrate the same holidays over and over, and do the same things, go to the same people's houses, eat the same foods, over and over and over and over. <laughs> or the rest of your life. The same thing. <laughs> so try to change things and make things better. For the better. You know, not being like all crazy about it. I mean, just kind of. You know, it's kind of the truth is the truth. Don't they kind of try to change things that aren't really broken? You know, but you know, but yeah, change things that need to be changed. Definitely, yeah. You know, yeah. Oh yeah. See, I'm trying to figure out things to talk about. Yeah, it's like, yeah, just for the sake of this video. I was like, okay. Not like you guys are gonna watch it. Most people, some people will. People don't. I don't. Because I I know people are more prone to watch crap. <laughs> Oh, people that suck and watch people that are cool that's just the nature of people people will always dwell towards the mediocre <laughs> yeah it's illusions of greatness I know that people will dwell you'll you, if you go on YouTube and look at all the videos they get big numbers you'll see like some guy playing with a lightsaber will get like millions of views like yeah, what the heck is that <laughs> is that creativity or is it what oh he's just laughing at the guy I don't know but it isn't, it isn't great stuff, <laughs> unless you can't, like, you know, well, maybe it's great for you, you're like, rrr, rrr, but what, <laughs> or some guys doing some other silly things, or watch some guy play a video game, <laughs> like, look at me watching these people play video games, oh, look at all these views these people get, because people enjoy watching people play video games, <laughs> I remember when I was in, High school, we used to go to my friends' house and try to decide what we we're gonna do that, you know, on that Friday night. No, Friday night. So, while we would figure it out, my friend would start playing video games, and we'd be like, oh god, we're gonna watch him play video games. Oh jeez, that was like the, the worst kind of, like, cheese Louise. Which I'd rather play than watch. <laughs> oh, watch me play video games. Apparently, people like that. They like watching people play video games. That's what the world is. <laughs> I want to watch people like me. You know, you know watching Bob Ross paint, that is cool. Because he creates these awesome things and you go, wow. Man, he's got talent. He's watching a talented person creating beautiful things. It's, and it's like, it just makes you feel good about people. You know, it's like about man. You go, wow. And you see another human give off talent or shows greatness. It just kind of makes you feel good to be a human, you know, too. You go, that's some of my, you know, that's another human being, you know, being awesome. It makes me proud to be a human being. I like that. You know, that's good. Then you watch people just being mediocre and go, oh, geez, no reason. Why? But then we hold that to our high esteem. It's like, okay, we'll just really, really know what is great and love that. Can we just love true greatness and awesomeness? Watch other human beings being awesome and great. Yeah, that'd be nice. But no, we just kind of go, we just love. And it's like, I can understand when people like certain things. You know, people love classical music and all this stuff and great art. I get it, because it's awesome. You know, it turns the best of us. What we can achieve with that, you know, things that, that computers can do, this kind of creativity thing. And uh, I love that. But then when people just kind of holding up all this kind of, you know, superficiality up into high regards, it just kind of go, oh, it's kind of, it's a bad kind of precedent for the 
for us to become more evolved and better you know it's like we, we're trying to be more evolved you know and care less about how people look and caring more more about the way we are and the way you know what i mean the way we you know the legacies that we leave behind but you know what is it really that we want to achieve in life a lot of people don't they just want to just merely exist the way everybody else exists you know like a cow in the past just just living but not really doing anything Thing, you know that leaves a mark in the world and makes leaves the world a better place. It's just kind of being the status quo. You know, that's, and then it's like, what's that? You you want to be that, <laughs> or do you want to be something wonderful and leave wonderful things? You know, and things that mean more, things that you know make us better. You know, make us feel better about each other. You know, it's like when people. You know, you like you go through your day and you meet all these people, especially in America. You know, these people are you meet people that are so sort of like kind of like like Volk and they have like no emotions and you kind of meet them and you don't really feel they don't make you feel good about yourself. They don't, you know what I mean? They don't they don't make you laugh or smile. They just kind of exist <laughs> and they seem so like depressed. So it makes you depressed just watching them being all depressed. You know, and then it's just kind of like uh, you know what I mean? It, it's like. Imagine like meeting like a like Robert Williams and all all these great people all all day. Wouldn't you feel so much better? You know, someone would make you laugh. Someone would, you know, or someone give you information about things you didn't know. You go, wow. You know, someone's like, I went to the Andes and I saw this and that, and it was awesome. And you go, really? Wow, that is really cool. And you go, you know, it makes your life better because you feel nourished by you know information and. Experiences and someone else's experience, and it just kind of, I mean, they, you know, yeah, it's just, but, but it's hardly that. It's just, but every day is hardly that. It's just people just kind of ignoring each other, and it's kind of, you know, the brand is not really being interested, and it's kind of, like, like, not looking at each other, and then if you're pretty, they'll stare at you, and then you, just, you know, it's just, actually they ignore you, or they stare at you, <laughs> you know, so.